Hello everyone, Windy City Comic Books here. Uh, some more books that I pulled out. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Mans, I'm going to do a video in on, bleh, uh, video in a second. Um, I had these at my house, but some other stuff I pulled from my parents' house. Um, I thought kind of like were low-key books from the era. Um, I don't know, you always have like all the Dark Knight stuff from the 80s, like that's always been a big deal, and it's still a big deal, you know, today, like 30 years later. Um, but anyway, I thought this was kind of funny, one of the alternative... Uh, or independent companies did a, um, you know, obviously a spoof on the Dark Knight. This is the Dark Nat, wait, the Nat Rat, the Dark Nat Returns. I thought that was kind of creative. And I think I showed this book before, but anyway. Uh, Miracle Man, I remember that was a big deal at the, back in the day, too. It's number one, it's a 3D book. The other number one I have somewhere. Of course, somewhere. Uh, the Watchmen. Uh, it's number two, but yeah, that was always a big series too back then, and of course the movie. Uh, the Punisher. I had all these, but of course I sold most of them online. Um, number three. That was that like, great artwork too. Like Zek. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That was always a big deal too back then, and still popular today. The new movies and all that stuff, but it's number one. Authorized Martial Arts Training Manual. Prime Slime Tales from Mirage Studios. This was the Eastman and Layard's, uh, I guess, another uh, attempt at a uh, comic book not as popular as um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, though. So. All right, number six. Whoops, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yikes. I'm trying to keep the Spideys from falling. These are also should be, like, really, really nice shape because never read and bought off the... Bought through the mail back in the day. Another number six. Yeah, like these are just look perfect to me, you know. And another number six. Arg. Number six. Number six. Number six. Yeah, I bought these in quantity when I realized how hot they were in the books. Of course, I never bought a number one. These are all first printings. But I never bought a number one. I bought a number two. I think I had like two or three copies of that. Like, And then uh, number three and four and all that stuff I started buying like five copies of. But a lot of the other ones were sold. Love having that cash in hand, you know. Uh, so number eight. Starring Cerebrus. To the Watchmen. Sorry, everything's kind of out of order here. All right. Uh, number one, of course, the famous bloody button. It's number two. Saw that one already. Number three, really simplistic covers. Uh, number four. That is all right. Number five, number six. If I would have turned in art like this in college, in my art classes, I probably would have gotten in trouble. Number seven, number eight. Number nine. Number ten. <laughs> I don't want to assume anything because everything's so mixed up. Number eleven. That's a crazy cover. And number twelve. All right. That's it. I'm going to start on the Spider-Man's next video. Thanks for joining me. Winnie City Comic Books.